Welcome back and uh, thanks for tuning in to Morning Live. So uh, the next series is very, very interesting. You don't want to miss this. For most of her life, Tracy Morrison has allegedly lived a lie, scripting a fictional memoranda in which she is the star. And she has allegedly defrauded scores of victims through financial scams and impersonations and exposed them to emotional abuse. And this is part of an exclusive investigative series titled To Catch a Con Star, which is an exclusive SABC special assignment investigative series being produced uh, and starting this Sunday at 9.30 p.m. on SABC3. But before we talk more about this and speak to Hazel Friedman, who produced To Catch a Con Star, let's take a look at one of the clips. A few houses away from here stays a woman who has constructed a fantasy out of her life. For the past 30 years, she has allegedly sown a path of destruction to get what she wants. I call her an equal opportunity con star because she has targeted everyone, old, young, rich, poor, black, white, everybody has been fair game. She's 56 years old. In 1998, I had exposed this wannabe legend in her lifetime as merely a legend in her own mind, an imposter with a fake American twang who had persuaded the mink and manure set of Johannesburg that she was a movie mogul from Hollywood looking for investors in her new films. So... There you have a sneak peek of what you can look forward to. And Hazel Friedman, thanks for coming through this morning. Um, fascinating, fascinating story. But as you say, you've been on her trail for quite a while. Actually, by default, as I said, 20 years ago, I did an expose on her as a fraudster. Um, but at the time, I thought she'd learned her lesson. I thought she was just somebody who was crying out for attention. She was also a stalker of celebrities way back then. So I thought it was kind of almost like a plea for attention to make herself seem more glamorous, more rich. Um, but 20 years later, she's developed her scams into something quite sophisticated and horribly sinister as we're, we're gradually learning. So. so 20 odd years on, how has she managed to evade capture? Okay, this, you're asking the central question which we're going to get into not in the series because here we're going to just basically give you a profile of this con star and also explain her modus operandi the kinds of scams she does why she's managed to get away with it is the subject of episodes two and three and we suspect we're not going to be naming the particular station this time around but she's had assistance from police officers at a certain station. They've been her protection and she's, they've been in, not only in collusion with her, they've been her accomplices. But that's going to unfold at a much later date. Curiouser and curiouser. Yeah. Uh, but of course, you know, just uh, looking at some of the pictures there of uh, Tracy Morrison, and uh, you, you described her, uh, you know, as an equal opportunity <laughs> con artist. So, Tell us more about her. You know, how does she manage to lure these victims? This is the tragedy of her. She's a, obviously a highly intelligent woman. She's highly charismatic. She's very convincing. She can portray the empathetic maternal figure as she is now because she's 56. Way back then, uh, when, when I first met her, she was trying to be sort of this kind of glamorous celebrity type. But if she had put her skills to positive use, I think she could have made... A positive contribution to society. As such, she's actually monstrous. She is, for me and for psychiatrists we've interviewed and for forensic investigators, the archetypal pathological so sociopath in that she lacks remorse, she lacks empathy, she looks at people as targets, she manipulates them and she uses them, she, she kind of gets into their vulnerability. She can read people very quickly. She's three steps ahead of them. And she uses this to exploit, manipulate and betray their trust. So veering a bit off the beaten track for special assignment and what it does, how long is it going to be? And it just, you know, tell people when, how. Right. Well, initially, when I first started investigating her this year, we thought, okay, it's going to be a one episode. At the rate we're going, it's going to be a 
10 episode mini series or maybe a 10 season mini series. We're getting so much information. But we're having a break after the first episode because we've got to get our ducks in a row in terms of very, very, very serious allegations against her. So our next episode is going to be at the end of July and following that the first week of August. Well, you don't want to miss it. To catch a con star and uh, Tracy Morrison will be under the spotlight and as you heard, may go on for as long as 10 episodes. And it would be interesting to hear from you if perhaps you've been one of the victims of Tracy Morrison. Perhaps get in touch with us and do tell us. Uh, but with all that, don't miss it. This Sunday, the first episode at 9.30 on our sister station, SABC3. Uh, Hazel Friedman, thanks so much for coming through. And of course, uh, we're coming up to the end of uh, the show now. The weekend is in sight. And uh, Leanne? Um, you, we, we are just about getting to that, uh, but we'll take a break and we'll come back to her after this.